Using bracketing, we can find the exact wind correction angle that compensates for a crosswind, which allows us to fly directly to the station. Best practice when using bracketing is to turn 5 or 10 degrees into the wind, then watching the ADF needle double or halve the wind correction as necessary. Let's try it, starting from the same location with the same crosswind. Once again, you can see the needle deflecting to the left, so let's start with a 5 degree left crosswind correction. Now let's pause to think about what's going to happen. We have a 5 degree left crosswind correction for a heading of 355. If we were on course, our ADF needle would be 5 degrees to our right. So, if our needle swings toward 5 degrees right, we know we are getting back on course, and 5 degrees of wind correction is too much. The correct amount of wind correction would be somewhere between 0 and 5 degrees. If the needle swings back toward the center, however, we're being blown further off course, and we'll need more wind correction, and would double it to 10 degrees. So keep an eye on the ADF needle, and we'll see what happens. It looks like our needle was centering again, so we need more wind correction. We doubled it to 10 degrees left for a heading of 350. Again, watching our ADF needle. If it swings toward 10 degrees right, we're getting back on course. If it moves toward center, we need to redouble our wind correction. Our needle is still swinging back toward center. Let's double our wind correction to 20 degrees left for a heading of 340. Now we're looking for the needle to swing toward 20 degrees right. Now it looks like the needle's holding pretty steady. Let's move our aircraft back so we can have a little bit more practice using bracketing. Still holding steady, so 20 degrees left wind correction is just about perfect. Let's add 5 more degrees so we'll get back on course. We could double it again for a 40 degree wind correction, but that would be a pretty aggressive intercept angle for the small scale of this simulator. We now have 25 degrees of left wind correction for a heading of 345 and we're waiting for the needle to point 25 degrees right. Our ADF needle is almost at 25 degrees right, so we're nearly back on course. Once back on course, we'll turn back to a 20 degree wind correction angle for a heading of 340. Now we'll watch our needle again. 
Remember, if the needle moves toward the center, we're being blown off course and need more wind correction. Our needle is moving away from the center, so it looks like we have a little bit too much wind correction. Let's take out another 2 degrees of wind correction angle for a heading of 342. Of course, as we get closer to the station, the needle becomes more sensitive. It looks like we found a pretty good wind correction angle, but let's move our aircraft back so we can test it. It looks like it worked. Through bracketing we were able to find that an 18 to 19 degree left wind correction angle would take us directly to the station. Obviously bracketing takes some time and practice, but it's much more efficient and gives you something to do on those long flights. That's it for this lesson. Whatever you're watching this for, studying for a certificate or rating, flying flight simulator, or just for fun, remember the key to ADF. Tune and identify, and the needle will point to the station. As always, comments and suggestions for future videos are appreciated. Thanks for watching, and remember, the more you know, the safer you fly.